Hey YouTube, this is Catching Up With Crystal. Can you keep up with me? Because you never know where I'm going to be. And I am on my way to chase a bag. Sometimes I do contracts. If you've watched this channel, you know that I do contracts. Sometimes in addition to um, going to the clinic during the day. So because I'm my own boss and I... Um, <laughs> there's no safety net. Like I've said before, I make money every day. I just never know how much money I'm going to make. Um, so today I am taking you guys with me uh, while I just drive to this contract. Um, it pays me uh, a few thousand. I, I generate um, a few thousand from this contract. So um, that, you know helps if I don't see a lot of patients during the day um, this gives me a little safety net because this is the only safety net that I have I um, am not working for anybody else right now I am working for myself so uh, if I fall nobody's gonna catch me so I'm on my way now to this contract and um, this might be helpful for some other nurses or nurse practitioners who are um, thinking about going into business for themselves. It's okay. All of your money does not have to come from one place. Let me tell you, when I do see patients during the day in the clinic, and I've said this before, I love a cash patient. When I get a cash patient, it's, it's done. I, they come in, I see them, they give me the money. I do the service and it's done. That's beautiful. When I see a patient and I collect insurance for them, it takes uh, it could take six weeks before I see the check. And then if I don't bill it or code it right, um, the insurance company will send it back. Which that is only actually only happened one time that the insurance company sent back um, and didn't pay me. So you just have to correct whatever it is that you did. There's certain criteria. If you're gonna bill under certain codes, the insurance companies are looking for certain things to be present in your notes. So documentation, documentation, documentation is very important. Um, also, this might be helpful for a new nurse practitioner or somebody going into business for themselves as a nurse practitioner. So I've got this difficult patient I'm going to say this just because you uh, graduated and you passed your boards and, and you may have some experience it doesn't mean that you know everything don't be afraid to reach back and ask I had a very difficult patient who I had been treating um, and I mean difficult as far as the disease process so um, she had a resistant let's just say she had something going on in the private areas and it was resistant I knew I was treating uh, for yeast it appeared to be yeast but it was resistant to um, to the things that I tried so um, I, I tried multiple drugs. I was convinced 110% that it was yeast. And I took pictures and I um, reached out to one of the doctors that I used to work with. I, I worked six years in dermatology as a registered nurse at one point. Um, I've done lots of things in nursing. Don't don't label me as a derm nurse because I I always had uh, more than one thing going. So I did six years of derm, but I did oncology. I I um, did hospice. I've done med surge. I've done the hospital. I've supervised. I've done a lot of things. So anyway, let's not. I'm getting off topic. Anyway, so. Um, I reached back out to the doctor that I worked with in, in dermatology and I said, I have this girl and she's resistant. She's an obese female. She has elevated blood sugars. Um, she has not been sexually active for several years and um, she is raw down there. She is raw on 
the outside, not on the inside, because I'm I don't do vaginal exams. So she's raw all on the outside and she's red all on the outside of her genitalia. And I'm convinced it's yeast because it is um, you know yeast loves dark, moist, wet places, things that say places that stay moist all the time. So anyway, um, I had ordered Diflucan and we tried some uh, antifungal creams and it and uh, it, it would get better but it wouldn't 100% resolve. So I reached back out to uh, one of the doctors that I used to work with and she was open to me sending some pictures. I sent her some pictures and she confirmed that it was yeast but she told me to try a different treatment which I am going to um, prescribe for this patient so don't be afraid to ask for help you don't know everything I always said a dangerous person is somebody who thinks that they have nothing left to learn Don't think that I go into my clinic every day thinking I know everything. I don't. Let me tell you, your doctors, they still have to look things up too. I remember when I first graduated and I told my GYN, I said, you know, I, I feel like I'm looking up stuff. He says, I've been a doctor for 30 years and I still look up stuff. He said, never be afraid to look up stuff. When you look up stuff, you gain new knowledge. Anyway, I hope this story wasn't too boring for you. I hope this helps some new nurse practitioner who's going into business for herself or his self. One point I want to make clear, it's okay. All your income does not have to come from one place your clinic i pick up contracts all the time um this one like i said generates several thousand well a few thousand a month and that helps i'm not gonna let leave no money on the table um the other thing uh is don't be afraid to ask if you don't know or you're not sure and you've tried, don't be afraid to reach back to somebody who has a greater knowledge base than you or a different kind of experience than you. Um, don't be afraid because you know what? If I see a patient like this again, I now have an alternative treatment plan that I can use. This has been Catching Up with Crystal. You have caught up with me. I am on my way to a contract to get that b -b 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 bag because it's going to help support my business. And I want you to know if nobody told you this evening that I love you. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.